How, do, how does mainstream science explain the star child? They explain it very simply. Nature can do anything. Nature can do, it can, can do this. It can make a tiger rabbit if it wants to. Nature can do anything. In the same way when you back a religious person into a corner about religious questions, they just, they, they'll always back into, God can do anything. You can't beat me, God can do anything. Well, science is exactly the same way. You can't beat me because nature can do anything. With all these things that I've been, been showing you, these physical differences, they mean absolutely nothing to mainstream science. All they do is they just say, sorry, nature can do anything. A guy, I got in an argument, I was pushing him a little bit to answer questions that he had no answer for, and he finally just said, look, I don't care if you stack up 10,000 of those differences. 10,000, doesn't matter. All I have to do is say, nature can do anything. Why are you even bothering me? Why are you wasting my time? Why are you wasting your time? Why don't you just go home and forget about it? You can't prove what you're saying. You can't prove it. And in terms of physical differences, he's right. He was right. There's no way to overcome the other side. Why? Because the game I'm trying to play with them is in their hometown, on their home field, in their home stadium, with nothing but their people in the stands. And the rake terms. And their, well, their ball, their rules, and their referees. And you've got to suit up and play that game if you're in my position and the position of others like me. It's really, really hard. It's really, really hard because they control the media. They control the belief system. They have the best PR in the world and they make everybody believe that people like me don't know one end from the other about anything. That they know everything and we don't know anything. It's very, very hard to compete. This is how they get away with it. Nature can do anything.